Hello, welcome to Anselm Griffin's occasion series in YouTube tutorials for MATLAB. Today we're going to have a quite simple demo of PCA principal component analysis in MATLAB and just to give you an idea, not an in-depth discussion. So, I made up here um, an array, a 9 by 2 and we're going to run the PCA on it. Now, just to I have loads of comments here. We can just go down a little bit. And there's the the magic line. So on that one there, there is one more option. But at that end, we return five variables from the PCA. Okay. So if I look at my comments, um, I've left out the first one, unfortunately. That's the coefficients returned. The new data, that's the data in the new dimensional space. Now remember the you know, the new dimensional space, they will be um, at right angles, they will be orthogonal to each other. The latent is the variance explained by each PC. Holdings T squared, that would be uh, are used for identifying outliers so if they're miles away from the center of the data set you would suspect that uh, there's something wrong so you would have a high t-squared value for them and then the variance is the percentage explained by the first coefficient the second coefficient etc so there's the, we created the array above there we call the command and I left off the semicolon. So there's our coefficients. Okay. Our new data, that's our nine by two. There it is in the new dimensional space there. There's the principal component and the second principal component. You can see there just to give you some relative scale. So the first principal component is way bigger than the second. Uh, our t squared stat. So the ones with the big numbers, that lad and that lad, we tend to think that they might be outliers because they're miles away from the center of the data. The first uh, component the first coefficient explains 95.44 percent of the variance and the second one is only 4.55 percent and I did a little plot this would be the equivalent of a scree plot that you could do in SPSS and I did that there just there so that would be the first component and the second component and that graph should be below so we can see here that the first component explains a fair amount of the variance you know of the total data and the second one i think that was something like if i remember correctly around the 95 percent and this one is only explaining something like the five percent and the two of them together would give 100 but the whole idea is to reduce the dimensionality and there that we could see there that's around 95 percent hope that helps just a tiny bit and thanks very much for listening